Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still, old habits die hard. Come on, Max. Gotta focus on the here and now. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <laughs> Wait for it. Go. about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Oh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. <gasps> the job I was born for. <laughs> so what are we looking for exactly besides photographing random detritus most of the shoots i do i find a focus something to hang the rest of the series on I'll know when I see it. Something... lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. What are you smiling about? Nothing. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. Then, wouldn't that jacket be totally decayed by now? <gasps> mean! This is Couture. <laughs> Looks 
almost like a face. Hail Satan. Hmm, edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> God. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. If I remember. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. What party though? There was an ice cream cake. Wow, it looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah, the old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch and dust. Hmm. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. That would suck. Something doesn't have to be useful to be worth preserving. Well, you know my mom. She can't stand a charity case. They must have thought something was worth preserving back when they closed this place down. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. No thanks, I value my ankles. Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! This year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> <gasps> I 
Excuse you? Do you really think I'm the kind of girl who would just send foot pics to anyone? It's always the quiet ones, Max. Always. <laughs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... Okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant, in case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour Ain't no skills? Ain't says a carousel horse can't bowl. What? I said, how are your... What? I said... You're fucking with me, aren't you? I'll keep looking. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Yes, this is the angle I need. Wow! Ballet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap! Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. 
Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <sighs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she's flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? <laughs> okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi! <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? She's just an old friend from when I was a kid. Must have been some friend if you still keep her picture in your wallet. Don't use your daytime TV shrink voice on me. New subject. No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? After high school, she was my road trip buddy, for a few years anyway. But... But? I don't know. I guess everyone processes stuff differently. And eventually, she couldn't deal with how I process stuff. But of advice. If anyone offers to publish a memoir, hire a ghostwriter. You suck at this. Ugh. Can we please change the subject now? Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay then. Ooh. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. <laughs> Safi says the bands that play here are small but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. No way. The soup future is in my hands. How do you do, fellow kids? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. 
Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist and hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas, if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> She asks her out. I saw what was Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Um lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school. Cringe worthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. Ah, undergrads. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Keep forgetting. No more back to start for me. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more busy night. Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this bathroom now. You are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie is lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. I need to stop doing that. Rewind is long gone. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey! Photography is a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? I know a great way to burn off the calories in that drink. 
There is something hot about a cute girl using a trashy frat bro line, but it's not gonna get you on the board. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the max-ist thing on tap. How did you- It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass rich kid secret society bites your tongue. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Uh, yeah, they're great. The, um, guitar solos, the, vo the vocals. So, you've never heard of them. <sighs> Fuck. Busted. Don't hate me, please. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. Lakeport has a scene? Like, multiple bands? Yeah, man. This town's pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a revenge horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a misery cult. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um, oof, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was thinking more of a friend thing. Cool. That's why I asked. Friend thing it is. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no the last 10 minutes are a total blur. <laughs> but Amanda's really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> She's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President Mommy Dearest, at least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid from 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Let's be honest. 
I'd probably just put on Return of the Living Dead and eat an entire pizza by myself. Why mess with her scene? She died doing what she loved. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Well, one out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Moses, doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Oh, okay. Give this to Sophie, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on something? We got some serious graph action going on here. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one. 
and give her a bottle cap instead. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. I thought Safi quit smoking. Is she stressed? Safi? Mm hmm. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. No. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less threaty, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad speaking. Be right back. So, uh, Return of the Living Dead? What about it? You said you'd watch it while the asteroid hit. Isn't that a zombie apocalypse movie? Return of the Living Dead is a zombie apocalypse masterpiece. I've seen it probably a hundred times. So you're gonna watch a movie about the apocalypse during the apocalypse? Well, yeah. That's why it's a good pick. Why fight the end of the world when you can embrace it? I guess. Look at that! What a tale. Moses was right. This is awesome. <gasps> Are you okay? Y yeah, all good, just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I'm gonna take off, get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Bye.
I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. Okay, too cool. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just what a perfect Just night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist. That's the father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad, Joseph. Is that his chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Wow, Saki. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Please, so Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this! I caused all of this! Are you okay? Something's wrong. Safi. Hey! Come back! Sophie, she seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... Sophie. Sophie? Hey. You okay?
matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. chills all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. We had a huge blow up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. A punk band out of Oakland. She was... enthusiastic. Fuck. She went through all of that alone.
Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. Now to take care of downstairs. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an International Photography Award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with their mistakes. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription. Legend has it, Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. The Lakeport cop investigating Sophie's death. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Safi. Mmm, grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick-me-up I've had the last day and change. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand.
Shutterbud420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. One of the last things I got from Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. Even years later, this still sucks to read. You always did know how to make every word count, didn't you? Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. All because of me. Really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey Max, I'm here. Hey Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. <sighs> I know. Why would anybody want to... I mean, she was just... <sighs> I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food! Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. Shit. That came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of... It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. You need to eat, Max. 
the stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. I'm really not up for it, Amanda. Oh, come on. I've never had my picture taken by anybody famous before. <laughs> Shouldn't I be charging you for something like this? Since I'm so famous and all. <laughs> Name your price, Caulfield. I've got 20 bucks in crumpled up singles and a Canadian quarter. Tempting. <laughs> But let's call this one pro bono. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice. How about you give me something stoic? Hmm, supermodel. <laughs> Got it. How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? Oh. Oh shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just just a sec, okay? Yasmin? Hi. Hi, Maxine. I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter balm. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you.
Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Fort Frosty was all anybody talked about last week. No one's really in the mood for snowballs anymore. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Graffiti Rock looks so... naked. Shit's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. An eye for detail, huh? Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. Whoa. No shit. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> Kinda seems like the whole campus is. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough. But it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural. Whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. This will help me get my bearings a little bit.
This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. Must have been a pretty pen in the middle of the night. Hmm. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's... Borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm... I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but... She was an amazing person, and... We're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. We playing today? Nah, DM canceled. That girl that died was his TA, so they gave him the day off. He's going camping. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max. I, uh... So... 
I'm a hugger. Um, are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. And for obvious reasons, now I don't think there will be. Speaking just for me, four-day work weeks, no classes on Fridays, it's a slam dunk, Rati. Maybe resubmit in the spring? I don't know. Dr. Fayed likes to come across as progressive, but she still has to answer to a far more conservative board. Still, I don't need to tell you how much having more time with your family would mean. Right? I never did make it to any of Ramalan's soccer games this year, and he and his father are definitely holding it against me. Maybe include that when you submit again. My son hates me is 100% a valid argument in your favor. Everyone. Nothing makes you feel alone. Like a chair made for two. Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but 
I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. Her legacy, you know. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. I wonder if Yasmin is ready for me yet. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. What does Yasmin want? Why are you... Can it wait? I'm like... a husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but I kind of gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? <sighs> Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself, or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you.
Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And text only, no calls. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Oh gosh, yeah. This isn't what it looks like. I was just waiting to talk to her. Hmm. Well, she didn't seem to notice. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um, maybe? Tell me a little about it first. Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. You get it. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um... You're asking about Safi? Why? It's a reasonable question considering you were the last person to see her alive. I... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it... I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself.
Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I'm trying to figure out what happened to Sophie, and I wanted your help. Oh, you're a gumshoe now. Detective Caulfield on the case. Give me a fucking break. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. I probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner, or called her when she didn't come back. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Sophie weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Sophie disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts.
don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh. Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. shadow lurks in the periphery, beyond the overgrown grass and the fallen bird's nest. Max. Good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah. I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well. And... This... Would have been a total nightmare for her. The self-seriousness of it all would have made her skin crawl. She would have stood there and made the dumbest faces you've ever seen. Just to get me to laugh. The fact that she isn't here right now to fuck with us. It's not fair. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. I'd like to open this up to anyone else who wants to say a few words. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? I get what you two have. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? We both knew it wouldn't. What I really wanted see Safi shut him up. <laughs> God, can you even imagine? Mm -hmm. Hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Mm. 
What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more tactically. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can be any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. I come in peace. Declare your allegiance! Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowballs down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go.
That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. If you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Sophie! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Open the door, what if we find one was enough now? Ah, geez. There you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. 